Well, we're now almost at the end of today's program, and Secretary Bradbury and Governor Kitzhaber, each of you now has two minutes for your closing statements. And Secretary Bradbury, we'll start with you. Hey, I, I really want to say thank you uh, for inviting me and John to this forum today. I really have enjoyed uh, the questions, and I've enjoyed the discussion about our state and our shared uh, economic future. Uh, I said at the beginning of the forum that in order to get Oregon rolling again, we need new ideas, new thinking, and new leadership. Leadership that's not afraid to pose the bold and the unconventional, and leadership that's willing to let Oregonians know what it's going to take to energize Oregon and get Oregonians back to work. Today, I've shared with you just a small part of my plan to help Oregon recover and create long-term economic stability. I invite all of you to visit my website, which is www.bradbury2010.com, uh, and read up on my eight-point plan to energize our economy. As you heard today, my plan is rooted in three basic principles. One is supporting our small and medium businesses. Two is growing our sustainable industries and making Oregon the sustainability capital of the world. And three, providing real support for public education that is so critical to the economic health of the state. That's why I'm proposing the Bank of Oregon, calling for programs like the Green Energy Mortgage Program, and I have a plan to inject real funding into our public education in Oregon by reducing our tax expenditures by 5%. Now is the time to act. People are suffering. Unemployment is reaching record levels. It's time to energize Oregon and get Oregon working again. I believe in the people of Oregon, and that's why I'm willing to invest in our ingenuity. I want to invest in our perseverance, and I want to invest in our future. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you, Secretary Bradbury. Now, Governor Kitzhaber, the stage is yours. Well, at the outset of this forum, I stress the fact that the next governor has got to recreate a, a consensus, a political center for leading Oregon forward. And I think building that kind of consensus is very, very doable. For example, when we leverage scarce public resources to do retrofits on commercial and, and public buildings, we create jobs, we reduce the cost of doing business in Oregon, we reduce the cost of public services. Likewise, when we avoid expensive <coughs> acute care hospitalizations by investing in appropriate community-based uh, management of chronic conditions like diabetes and hypertension, we, make, we all become healthier, we reduce the cost of public services, we reduce the cost of doing business in the state of Oregon. Now, I don't want to leave you with the impression that any of that's easy because it's not. Uh, reforming systems like health care and, and uh, uh, education, public finance are very, very difficult. But what we need to remember is that previous generations of Oregonians and Americans have faced similarly difficult challenges, and they were able to make decisions that built this state uh, and built this country. Uh, I have a son who I just alluded to, and I worry every day uh, about the world and the state that he's going to grow up in. And I'm very, very confident that we have the capacity to make the critical decisions that will make Oregon a world leader in the blue economy, and will ensure that Oregon's best days still lie ahead for this generation and for generations uh, to come. One thing is certain, we cannot continue to claim the status quo. And the next governor is going to have to have the courage uh, to speak very, very candidly about the realities we face and about the difficult choices we make. And that candor cannot be tempered by concerns over political expediency or short-term political consequences. This is not a time for the timid. This is not a time for people who seek comfort clinging to the status quo. This is a time for people who seek to shape their own future. It is a great attack for Thank you very much. Thank you, Governor Kinsalver. Thank you to our sponsors.